Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today, we're at Callaway. Uh, we're at the fitting studio uh, discussing some new Callaway Maverick products. We've got drivers, Ferry Woods hybrids. Uh, Thomas and I got a chance to hit all three and uh, gonna kind of provide some feedback and impressions that we got uh, from our hitting. So, Thomas, I think the big first, the big takeaway really is the artificial intelligence all the way through the bag. I noticed forgiveness quite a bit, especially in the driver. And I know you also had a pretty tight dispersion with the driver too. You compared your Sub-Zero uh, Epic Flash, the model that you play now, to the Maverick Sub-Zero. And I know you've noticed some positive uh, developments. Yeah, so the biggest thing I noticed was, you know, this dispersion with, with the Maverick driver versus the Epic Flash driver that I could get. I was hitting the Sub-Zero models, same setting, same loft, same golf shaft. I wasn't really picking up you know, that much more distance. I think I believe it picked up half a mile an hour more ball speed with the Maverick driver. Um, but what was really noticeable was by dispersion was so much tighter. Yeah. I think that comes down to you know, what, what they've done is what they've been able to take you know, a little bit more weight out of the face mm -hmm. with the titanium face that, that, that they now have got. Um, and they can re now d redistribute that to other areas in the club head to make yep. the club with a higher MOI. Yeah, yeah that FS2S uh, titanium in their face now um, has been, you know, you take a little, I think it's six grams, six grams out of the club face and they've redistributed it. Uh, between the three miles, it's a little bit different how they redistribute it, uh, but either way, you're getting more performance, more forgiveness um, with each model. So this is a standard model here that I was able to hit. Um, and, you know, I don't hit the center of the face as frequently as you do. Uh, so I was able to get a lot of feedback on miss hits. And there was a few that I thought I just missed completely and I, they were still traveling you know 300 yards uh, so I it was really impressive to see that uh, and again artificial intelligence is through the bag here we got the drivers um, and fairy woods and hybrids and you know even like this max model is kind of a new thing for Callaway uh, this is a it's kind of a draw bias but also you know can be played for those slower swing speeds as well so the Maverick drivers got the standard, you got the Sub Zero, and you got the Max. Um, so really, any driver swing out there is going to be able to fit into one of these three models. Yeah. So I, the other thing I really want to touch on is adjustability. Yeah. So we, we, you touched on the ma on this Max driver. For example, now we can actually adjust the uh, the weights around. So we, if we want to have it completely as high MOI as possible, someone that maybe just gets yeah, help, needs that. help getting the ball up in the air, put a little of that weight back in, in the back there, get that thing flying nice and straight, uh, mm -hmm. and be very forgiving. If someone's having trouble with the right ball, like a lot of golfers usually do, we can actually move these weights around and we can put this weight all the way in the heel. And I believe now it's gonna be even more draw bias than say the Kelly Rowe was or even yeah, the, the you know, for sure. sliding weight in the, uh, in the uh, Epic Flash was. Yep. So. And then I also wanted to touch on Jailbreak because a Jailbreak and their T2C triaxial uh, carbon crown, uh, they, you know, those were very successful for them in past models. Jailbreak especially is something I really love. Yeah, jailbreak is not going away. I believe this is now the fourth generation yep. um, for Callaway that they've used it, and it's definitely not going away. You know, it, it's done a great job at keeping that ball speed up on those off-center hits. Yep. So. so now we hit drivers. I mean, and you also hit some fairway woods. What are your takeaways from hitting the fairway woods? Fairway woods, once again, it comes down, I think, that the AI, the fact that, you know, we're able to design a, a face for every single model, whether that be driver, fairway wood, hybrid, irons, and depending on the loft on, the, on each club, you know, the fact that it was designed to be even more forgiving and fly a little bit straighter. I hit it nice and straight with that fairy wood. I was really, really impressed. Yeah. Not seeing like any major like distance gains versus the current fairy wood I hit, w hit which is the um, Epic Flash Sub-Zero, but it was just nice and straight. And I think that's the biggest takeaway I just noticed today is yeah. MOI, forgiveness, straight. And there's gonna be also three models. Um, so there's gonna be the standard Maverick fairy wood. There's gonna be the Maverick uh, Maverick Sub-Zero and also the Maverick Max also. So yep. the Max is going to be a little larger um, model but also adjustable, giving us that adjustability to put that weight in the heel for those players that once again have that yep. problem with that, that ball to the right. Yep, and then now in the hybrids, it's kind of the same deal. Uh, you got the uh, Maverick Pro, Maverick Standard, Maverick Max. You got, uh, again, you got that, you got the jailbreak, you have the flash face, uh, the artificial intelligence packed into it once again to optimize the performance in launch and spin. And I, again, with the hybrid, you notice that it feels great. You got that solid pop off the face, but then you also get, um, you know, I think some distance gains and easy to get ball speed gains too, and it's optimized like that for you. Yeah, so I got the chance to hit the uh, Maverick Max. Typically, I would have maybe thought that I would fit into the Maverick Pro, 
but I was really surprised with how straight that I hit that yeah. Maverick Max. I thought maybe, normally I would typically have a problem with a left ball, you know, with a you know, flare maybe a little bit more upright. I love the fact that we have the ability with the Pro to maybe sit a little bit flatter, yeah. but I was really surprised how straight that I hit that Maverick Max hybrid. You know, probably not gonna fit me perfectly, but it was nice and straight, and I was really impressed. Yeah. yeah so that was that was surprising. Also successful for Callaway has been the Callaway OptiFit Hazel. Uh, again, present in the drivers for the Maverick. Yeah, I think you know adjustability is important to come in and get fit, um, rather than just kind of adjusting stuff around what yourself. It's important to get fit, see which particular head model that you fit into, which particular golf shaft, and then we can fine tune with these uh, adjustability, changing the weights around a little bit, yep. changing the cogs around a little bit if, if we need to. So. Yeah, so obviously golfers, some great options here from Callaway in the Maverick line for 2020.